Yes, you can applaud that. <laughs> applaud them, applaud the farmers. The farmers that feed us, of course, need energy to do so. And therefore, they need the ability to power their drying machines, to transport their grains, uh, to, to heat and cool their barns for their animals, all of which requires energy. The more tax the government imposes on that energy, the more expensive it is for them to produce the food that we eat. And thus we have the misery and poverty that has resulted today in the same way as it always has whenever the Crown, or in this case the state and the Prime Minister, take too much. And we see what's happened. The government is rich and the people are poor. After eight years of this Prime Minister and his NDP government, there is record food bank use. This week we learned that under NDP policies imposed through this uh, Prime Minister, we had 800,000 people in Ontario alone visit, visit six million times to a food bank. This is a record smashing number. Nationwide, two million Canadians going to a food bank. This is a 32% increase from when the Prime Minister took office. After eight years of this Prime Minister, housing costs have doubled, the rent has doubled, mortgage payments have doubled, down payments have doubled. Tent cities have formed in every major city in this country. In Halifax, the, the, in the province of the, the federal housing minister, there are now 30 homeless encampments. In Halifax, one city. We never had this before this Prime Minister. What is his response? He divides to distract. He turns Canadian against Canadian. He gives out taxpayer-funded opioids to medicate people out of their misery. Later next year, he intends to bring in medical assistance in dying for the mentally ill, so the people who are living with the total misery and isolation that his economy has created can have their lives ended altogether. We couldn't even have imagined that life would be this hellish for our people eight years ago, Madam Speaker. And what is his solution now? He wants to quadruple the carbon tax. He wants to raise it to 61 cents a litre on gas and diesel. Obviously, this will make it unaffordable for people to drive to work and heat their homes. But then there, there are the indirect costs. Because when you tax the energy of the farmer who makes the food, and the trucker who ships the food, you tax all who buy the food. Mm -hmm. Let me give you an example. In my riding, we have Carlton mushrooms. Uh, they supply mushrooms across the Ottawa Carlton region and into Western Quebec. They're now spending $150,000 a year on carbon taxes. $150,000 a year. And now the Prime Minister wants to quadruple that tax. So, we can presume that their tax bill would go up to $600,000 a year. All right, Pierre Polly of the 